What's going on, good people? What is going on? I um want to come to y'all and speak today about um the things that are going on in this world. A lot of um demonic strongholds are being pulled down right in front of our eyes. Um, I I don't have to call no names, y'all. If you, you if you look at social media or if you look at what's going on in Hollywood, then you know exactly what situations I'm talking about. And God has really been um, showing, if people pay attention spiritually, God has really been showing people who he is and what he won't tolerate. It is time out for all this wickedness. It's time out for all this um, doing things in the dark. It's time out for all that. And if you don't believe that, Jesus Christ is Lord. I don't know what to tell you. Um, I'm not on here to to convince. I'm not on here to. Well, one one thing I'm not on here on here to do is to argue the gospel. I'm not gonna argue with anyone about the things that God gives me. I'm just gonna put it out there, and I hope and pray that it edifies and blesses um, the ears that have the, the people that have ears to hear. You know, if you have that spiritual. Um, um, ear to hear what thus saith the Lord then this is for you and the first scripture that God gave me because I got four different scriptures I want to go over was Ecclesiastics 1 and 9 and this is the King James Version and the verse says the thing that hath been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. What I think the Lord is telling us in that scripture, Ecclesiastics 1 and 9, all this chaos, all this stuff that's going on, all this wickedness that's going on in this world, even with some of the heinous things that are happening in beastology, just all types of weird madness that's going on, has been done before in the Old Testament of the Bible. If you if you if you read the Bible, all this stuff has been done before. Wickedness is not new to the devil. Just like there's good, there's evil. There's no middle ground. You can't claim to love God and and and, and love the devil at the same time. You have to pick a side. Yes, you have to pick a side. You can either pick good or you can pick evil. And if you pick evil, then you're going to reap that harvest. If you if you if you on on the Lord's side, you're going to reap the abundance of that heart of that harvest. Everything has a has a consequence. Your choices in life, you have to deal with certain consequences of those choices. God gives us free will to choose who we will serve throughout our lives. And it's up to us to either serve God, serve the devil. Just know the route that you're going to take. It's like a fork in the road. It's like, it's like a, no, it's like a wine in the road. Um, you go down the path and you can either go, you can either go one way or the other. You know, there's no, you can't straddle the fence, so to speak. You can't, you can't teeter totter. You can't do all that. You have to make a choice that's that's just the way it is that's just how god ordained it so all this stuff that's going on has happened in the bible it may have been many thousands of years ago it may have been a different which we know was a different time frame you know things you know we're living in 20 this is 2024 so the way wickedness travels you know things evolve you know and go with the time so to speak but in god's I, sin is sin. Doesn't matter whether you're a liar or a murderer or a rapist or whatever. Sin is sin in God's eyes, and He does not like sin. He does not like wickedness. I don't. I don't believe there's a different different level of sin. Sin is sin. It stinks in the nostrils of God. That's just the way it is, you know. So, another scripture that God gave me was Luke. Let me pull this up. Luke twelve two through three this one says for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed neither hid 
that shall not be known. Verse three says, therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light and that which ye have spoken in the ear in closet shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. Isn't that what's going on right now? Think about the things that's going on in Hollywood or Holly weird or whatever you want to call it. I was talking to a friend of mine. I said, it's got to be some holy people or some righteous people in Hollywood. I believe God's going to raise up a generation that's going to get into the entertainment business, but it's going to be completely different. The things that are going on in Hollywood are just in this world, period. God is tearing this stuff down and he's rebuilding everything for the kingdom of God. If you don't believe me, look at what's going on right now. Yeah. These dark kingdoms are coming down. Look at all these. I, we just went through uh, Hurricane Helene, Category 4 in Florida, in the Big Bend area. There has never been, far as I know, a storm of that magnitude to come that far inland. You know what the Lord is saying? You can run, but you can't hide. Nobody can escape the wrath of God. I don't know why people try to run and hide. You can't. My heart does go out to the people in Asheville, North Carolina. My heart goes out to the people that, you know, here in Florida, where I reside, that lost their lives, lost, you know, things are things. You can get things back. It's still devastating no matter what. But you know what the underlying thing is? We as human beings need to repent and ask God to forgive us for all of our sins. We need to humble ourselves. We need to get up under the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible even said these things would happen in the last days. I don't know why people think God is a joke. Yes, he's a loving God. I'm going to tell you something about love. Love is a great thing, and he has unconditional love. One thing I will tell you about love, when a person loves you, they love you enough to chastise you as well. My mother, think about a mother-daughter relationship or a father and a son. If a, if a parent loves that child, they will chastise that child. They will tell that child the truth, whether it hurts their feelings or not. That's what love is. And God's love is greater than that. God loves humanity so much that he gives us grace and mercy on a daily basis. And we don't even have sense to see it. Do you know that storm? And I thank God every day because that storm was devastating. And when I look around and see the things that happen to other people and how that I got on my knees and I prayed to God for protection and he protected even the people that I'm attached to that know me in my community where I live, they, they did not get the detrimental um, adverse actions of that storm because of prayer. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't the only one praying, you know, cause I have family that, that covers me in prayer as well. I know my, my family was praying, but so was I. And the Lord heard our prayers and spared us from devastation that could have been really really bad even in the complex that I live in like I said my heart goes out to everyone that, that you know that lost their lives and their families even some people lost everything they lost their their homes and stuff like that and and um vehicles but that's stuff that you can get back but it's nevertheless it's still devastating and how God spared and took care of his own because when you walk upright and you're a righteous person and you serve God, he will protect you from any type of any type of chaotic or chaos that's going on around you. Things could be falling down around you, but God, will, he'll look out for you, especially if you're obedient and you serve God. He will look out for you. He will protect you. And that's just, that's, that is that is that that is exactly what he did. So I got one more scripture. Actually, I got two more this one is Matthew 3 and 2 
and he put this in my spirit and the scripture says and saying repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand that goes out to every human being on the face of the earth we have to repent and ask god turn away from our wicked ways we have to repent and ask god to forgive us and to walk a righteous or uh, to live a holy life to walk up right before God, we have to do it because if you don't, it's going to, it's, it's, it's going to be damnation and everything that the devil has lined up ain't nothing but chaos and damnation and, and, and ultimately death. The devil is out to steal, kill and destroy. He's doing his job. I don't know if y'all look, look around, pay attention to what's going on to people, not just these storms, but just what's going on in, in the world in Hollywood, wherever, from the White House to the crack house. That's what I say. Look at the things that's going on. And pay attention. You know, um, I'm going to go to this last scripture, uh, which is Galatians 6 and 7. And we really need to pay attention to Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you reap, if if you sow bad seeds, if you sow evilness, wickedness, whatever, if you sow that, you're going to reap that. You're going to reap that harvest. But if you sow positivity, if you sow um, being good to people, you know, um, not only just being good to people, but if you sow um giving to the kingdom, you know, helping out, um, God's movement through various, um, ministries or whatever, or prophetesses or whoever God gives you to help out, you're going to reap that harvest. So basically if you do good, you're going to reap good. If you do bad, you're going to reap bad. I don't, you know, I used to, I tell my mom all and with me and her were talking, we talk all the time and we, we get deep. And I told her she was laughing and we, you know, we laugh and have a good time, but we talk real, we, we, we talking some real stuff. And I told her, I said, ma, the devil ain't nobody's friend. If the devil ain't my friend, why would I serve him? If the devil is out to steal, if he out to take my life and take me to hell with him, why would I be his friend? Why would I serve something like that? So think about the things that you do in life. You decide, you know, what side you're going to be on. Whose side are you on? I'm just, I'm just sounding the trumpet. That's all I'm doing. I'm speaking what God gives me. That's what a soldier does. We, we, we sound the trumpet. We, we make, I'm speaking for the, when I speak, I want to speak what God gives me. Whatever he puts in my, in my spirit to speak is what I'm going to say. And I pray that it edifies and helps someone. If you're if you're a sinner and you want to be saved, just ask the Lord to forgive you for all your sins. Open your heart. Repentance is something that anybody can do. Even some of the you know the people that are the, that are doing bad in the entertainment business, if they're if if they have if they if they honestly come before God, no matter what they've done with a clean heart, with an honest heart and ask God to forgive and ask Jesus Christ to come into their life and forgive them of their sins. Don't you know, God, he will forgive. That does not mean you're not, you will not reap the things that you put out there previous to what, you know, cause you're going to reap what you sow, but God will help you through it. No matter what sin you've committed, God will forgive you. While you're alive, you still have hope. While you're breathing, you have hope. You can still open up your mouth and ask God to forgive you for all your sins and try to live for him and get to know God on a on a one on one basis. As long as you have breath in your body, there is room for repentance. And that that goes for any human being, no matter what they've done. I don't care if it was, you know, murking somebody or, you know, whatever, whatever sin there is. God can still forgive. Just remember that he can still forgive. There's still hope as long as you're living and breathing. 
but make sure you make it right because you never know when your last day is going to be. And I'll just leave you with this, you know, get right with God. Anyway, it's your girl, Miss K. I'm out.